thankful to God that I am free today. How many of you are free this morning? Hallelujah. We are free to dance in his presence. We are free to sing in his presence. That is the freedom of God. Hallelujah. I am resting in the joy and in the peace of God. Hallelujah. This is what freedom looks like.
are so thankful for you, God, for giving us joy, for giving us peace in our households, in our minds. Thank you, Lord, for the peace that you have given us. Hey, 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 sing step to the joy of, joy of the Lord. Step into the joy of the Lord. Step into the joy of the Lord. Step into the joy of the Lord. This is what joy feels like. Step into the joy of the Lord. Sing step to the joy of the Lord. Step into the joy of the Lord. Sing step to the joy of the Lord. Step to the joy of the Lord. Friday night as well as yesterday. Thank those of you who were with us and we uh, we thank God for the jobs on uh, yeah, yeah, date yeah, night yeah, yeah, on yeah, yeah. Friday. And Hallelujah. again, thank God for uh, Delon and Aisha you know what? for the on Friday night their dance. And then yesterday maybe we, we had... Maybe we do a dance together, honey. Maybe not. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. Praise the Lord. I'll watch there. you dance. Amen. Amen. That's that. What's that? What's that little game? Should kind of like was it? Just dance. So you just dance. Yeah, you just dance, and I watch you dance. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, but anyway, we are grateful. We had a wonderful time on yesterday, and I, I we had a couple of technical difficulties, but we recognize and realize the devil is a liar. Ain't no truth. The in truth him. is not in him. The word still went forth. Those Hallelujah. of the, those of us who were here. We're tremendously blessed, and then on what's even rarer, I, if that's a, that's a word, right? You made it one. I made it one. What's even rarer mm -hmm. is on yesterday, because we had some snafus, we actually were able to send the notes to the brothers that were here, and uh, I trust y'all got those. You got those yesterday? Y'all got those notes, so we sent the notes, and it was a rare occasion, even more rare. They're sending it to him is the fact that I actually stuck to him yesterday, Amen. so we should be all right. Amen. So we trust that you got those. Now, again, we are grateful for those of you who are here, and, I, and I'm and i thankful, and I know we had some couples. We had couples traveling, but that's the beauty 
that's the beauty of of this technology really that eliminates all of our excuses no all matter where we were every single we one could have logged on all and so them. we are grateful for those of you who were i trust that you were blessed i was blessed amen yeah. and so always always making room Hallelujah. always making room for improvements in our marriage as well as in our walk with the lord so we are grateful to god for that and then um i don't see her so perhaps they're somewhere celebrating but we want to say a special birthday shout out to uh deaconess karen it's her stewart birthday. it's her birthday it's her birthday i thought about it what a what a special birthday gift to deacon ed to uh every day you get to wake up to a valentine's gift oh wow as god that's has beautiful. gifted him her so we thank god wherever they are we trust that they're enjoying themselves today and that uh that as she celebrates another year of life, we rejoice with her because God has been better than good to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, he has. Amen. Oh, yes, he has. The announcements are on the Jumbotron, yes? Yes. Praise the Lord. So we, we're going to sit down. Are we? Then we got to come back up? Then we got to come back up. You want to just stay up? Okay. That's either, either or. So you... Want to stand up here while they do the announcement? You just want to stand up here, huh? No, 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 just don't, yeah, come on, stand up there. Praise the Lord. Well, let's go ahead and let's uh, uh, give our attention to the screens for this morning's announcements while we stand here, and uh, we'll look at the screens as well. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Destiny Christian Center, where our pastors, Dr. Robert and Sheila Poole, are illuminating the pathway to purpose through the teaching of God's Word. If this is your first time here, please text hello to 702-602-0777. Text hello to 702-602-0777. Please join us or tune in to any of these services this week. Join us for Tuesday Bible Study, February 16th at noon, as Dr. Sheila puts the soap on Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 through 30. Dr. Poole continues to bring the book in the James series this Wednesday night worship, February 17th at 7 p.m. Calling all men. Bring your Bible and journal and dig into the Word with Dr. Poole this Thursday, February 18th at 7 p.m. and Saturday, February 20th at 11 a.m. Learn what it takes to have a marvelous marriage on Date Night with the Pools on Friday, February 19th at 5 and 8 p.m. Join us for intercessory prayer on Saturday, February 20th at 9 a.m. If you have a prayer request, please text PRAYER to 702-602-0777 or send an email to prayer at dcclv.org. Join us for a month of celebrations this March as Destiny turns 20 with church anniversary on Sunday, March 14th at 10 a.m. and Pastor Appreciation at 7 p.m. It's urgent to get this right because the time is right now when dead men and women will hear the voice of the Son of God and hearing will come alive. Be a prepared witness for the Lord and pick just one person to pray for, phone, and pick up. Then do it again and see us 300 family strong. It's urgent that you get this right. I mean, right now. Don't let your cell phone interrupt God speaking. Please take the time to make sure that the only voice heard is the Son of God. Words of encouragement. God's love is dependable, reliable loyal and faithful. His forgiveness and forbearance with us is never ending. What a blessing it is to know that we are never outside of the scope of his love and forgiveness. As we allow thoughts of his love and mercy to fill our minds, we will tap into his divine serenity that will guard our souls. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lamentations chapter 3, 
verse 22 through 23 in the English Standard Version of the Bible. This concludes our morning announcement. Well, hallelujah. 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 And we're still here. We're still here. Hallelujah. <laughs> we're still here. So, uh, is it offering time or do you want to do something else? It's offering time. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. I want to make sure. Well, come on. It's time for us to prepare to give this morning. We are thankful and grateful to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Listen, as we're doing that, we are, remember we've taken the pause off, so we do encourage you, even those of you who are here with our pastor, Buck, we continue to do that. We thank God even for his Psalm 91 protection. Amen. Because uh, the word of the Lord just works. Praise Hallelujah. God. We That's thank right. God we've had all this wind, and we saw a big tree in the middle of the street on our way to church. One of the trees on, on our property has fallen. We had some more. Uh, damage, but thank God lives are still here. Amen. No one was injured. Praise God. And then before I give you the word of the Lord as relates to our giving, I want to give you a, a quick testimony. We'll allow him to give the expanded version, but just the power of Psalm 91. Most of you are uh, know Brother Glenn, uh, Glenn, Brother Glenn Fain, who's he's in the, the back. Gentleman yep. that in the in the doorway. He's, is he here today? Yeah. Oh, well, praise God. Well, tell them to scoot on around. Amen. Brother Glenn, Brother Glenn on last, what was that, Thursday? I believe it was yes, Thursday. Thursday. He was crossing the street in the crosswalk, praise God. In his motorized in his, and, and someone making a left-hand turn um, didn't even see him and hit him. And so we got the text in that he had been rushed to the hospital. But the beauty is, I told Pastor Sheila, because he's the one who sent out the text. Hallelujah. <laughs> so we're grateful that he's the one. If he's the one that sent out the text, that already let me know. I said, well, babe, we'll pray. Right. We'll pray. But I'm just grateful because you do know most of the time that does not end well. When a man versus car, car usually wins. And so we had to, we were praying for him, we got a chance to talk with him, and he said, the main thing is be praying for the person that hit him because they were more hysterical in, in the sense that they actually had caused the accident than he was, and he was the one that had been hit. And so, text me, told me he's at home. He said he might see us today, and there he is. Praise the Lord. I was going to, we're still, amen. Look we're what the grateful. Lord has done. Psalm Hallelujah. 91. We're here to the tell word you, of the Lord works. whether you believe it or not, the canopy of God's protection covers God's Hallelujah. people. Hallelujah. The weapons may fall against my, us, my, my, oh, my. but they will not prosper. They will not prosper. Hallelujah. The canopy keeps us covered, and we give him the glory for it. And we give him the honor for yes. it. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hey. My, my, my. My mind. That's just for those of you who say, why do we keep saying that? That's why we keep because saying Because the word of God is alive. That's right. And it keeps us alive. This Hallelujah. is the word of God. Oh, and glory. so we thank God. Bless you, Brother Glenn. And, and again, it's so good to see you back. I'm so thankful because when Pastor Sheila get to that, found out, I said, she said, well, we got a text trying to get to the bottom of it because I didn't get the text. I'm trying to find to out. He's in the hospital. Babe, babe, babe he's in the hospital. hospital. I said, well, okay, let me find out what's going on. And then somebody said, yeah, he texted me. I was like, well, he ran into the hospital. He'll be all right, baby. He, he sent out the text. Thank God you're in the accident and you sent the text. Well, so we Lord. know the canopy of God's protection. It works. It works. It works. It, works. it works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, let me go ahead. Today being Valentine's Day, of course, and, you know, we, we know we're, we're in the midst of Black History Month, and, and we, we call it Love Month, and we're grateful to God for that. But I thank God for you, even today on Valentine's Day, you got on your pretty red, right. praise God, and I, I threw on my little red to match your red, to pop my red with your red, and, and so we're looking forward to exchanging cards and gifts and all of that, and, but we wanted to even as it relates to our giving, because the beauty of love is we, in order to know how to love the right way or the best way, the best way to do anything is go to wherever it started from. That's right. And so the Bible tells us that God is love. love. And then what he showed us, and most of, we all know this scripture, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world That's right. that he gave. This yeah. was so amazing. If if my salvation could be purchased with diamonds, he would have gave diamonds. 
if it was gold he would have gave gold because he said the cattle on a thousand hills already belongs to him so whatever he did he knew let me give over and above the price you, for what I want in return. Hallelujah. So what God did Hallelujah. was he gave us his only begotten son. And what I love about the gift is because he gave us his son, his son is better than any dividend, any IRA. Oh, his son is better than any retirement, any 401k. Because watch this, he gave us the gift that still gives. Hallelujah. The Bible says that he ever liveth to make intercession, intercession for, for us. us. He That's left right. us with the promise and he's coming back to Hallelujah. fulfill it. And so today, I want you to keep in mind as you prepare your offering, prepare your, your, your tithe, your offering, however, whatever you're going to give today. If you're giving in the house, whether by electronic or uh, in the envelope, we pray that you will adhere to this thought that if God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, ask yourself today, does your gift, does your offering reflect how much you love Thank him? Thank you, Lord. Because he so loved the world. Now, I know I you can't give him, you can't pay him we back. Can. Got, it was we only can. like one person clapped we on that can. one. We you can. can't, we can't pay him back. And and here's what some would say, well, Pastor, I wasn't prepared for that. That's what I love. We come prepared. But what we can do, just like when you went to the mall and you weren't prepared for there to be four of them on sale, and you only thought it was going to be three, and so you went and you made the adjustment and went on and bought the fourth one anyway. That's I dare you to make. mention what happens in Walmart without a list. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah, walk in without a cart. That's yeah. what you need to start doing. Woo. Just go in there without yeah. a cart and, 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 and one you hand in your pocket. Your, you know what I'm saying. Yes, oh, yeah. Glory. But it's amazing. We come to the house of God. We're so already, already prepared. But here's what I'm asking you to do today. If he's done anything for you, I said, let me take that back. He's done something he's for done us. He's done something Hallelujah. for us. What I want you to do is you give based on if, if it were reversed. Can you imagine? Thank God salvation is free, but can you imagine if God put a tag on it? Would I even would it even be worth me borrowing? Would it even be worth me getting a loan to make sure I have what God wants me to give? Because I want what he has for me. Because it, we'll look at it. You got to know why did he give his son anyway? Because he wants you. Hallelujah. And he Thank bought you, you with the price. Thank Praise God. Hallelujah. So today, let's go ahead. Stand Thank to your you, feet. Lord. Stand Thank to you, your feet. If you need Come an on, envelope. Let's celebrate God for the opportunity to Amen. give. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you need an envelope, the usher should have already given you one. But if you need one, please let them know by signifying raising an empty hand. Praise the Lord. If you have your gifts in your hand, go ahead and lift those up before the Lord. Even if you're giving electronically to make a fool of the devil, lift that phone that tablet, however you're doing it. If you're at home, lift it up. Why? Because we lift it up believing that God's going to lower himself down to receive it out of our hand. Father, today we give unto you and we pray as always that you will receive our gifts. We thank you for the opportunity to sow into the kingdom. And God, how dare we even try to imagine the price that it costs for my salvation to know that you would give us the very best you ever had. And that's your son. How dare we give you anything less than what we can offer you as our best. We pray today that as we sow into the kingdom that you would receive our tithe and our offering and that it will continue to expand the kingdom of God to your glory in Jesus' name. Amen and Hallelujah. amen. Come on, praise come the Lord. On, give him glory. I know it's something in your head, but you can open up your mouth and say hallelujah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Let, hallelujah. The Let the redeemed of the Lord say, the Lord say so. so. Hallelujah. Not, not clap so, not, not wave so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, say so. so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, with that said, let's go ahead. If you would uh, look on the screens for those of you who don't know, but again, this is why Brother Glenn is just another example of why every week we declare Psalm 91 with boldness. Let's go ahead today as we confess our canopy of protection, Psalm 91, that he that dwelleth in the secret place of, of the, the Most High, High shall, shall abide, abide under, under the shadow of the Almighty. Of the Almighty. I, I will say of the Lord, Lord he is my refuge and my fortress, my, my God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, 
and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. And they shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you for your canopy of protection. Oh, bless you, God. Now let's, with that same confession, or with that same enthusiasm, let's go ahead and make our confession of faith this morning that people are, are standing, standing in line to, to get into Destiny Christian Center, Center to hear the word of God. Every seat is filled in every service, Sunday morning worship at 10 a.m., Tuesday Bible study at noon, Wednesday evening worship at 7 p.m., Saturday morning intercessory prayer at 9 a.m., with streaming services full and overflowing with online viewers and any other service that we might have with expectations of signs, wonders, and miracles. Every, Every need, need in this ministry, ministry is met, and we are 100% tithe givers. All of our property is paid for in full, and, and we owe no man nothing but to love him. We have every manner of skill for worker in every area for the building of the kingdom. Every member of this ministry's soul is prospered in the word, and is therefore wealthy, healthy, and wise. Every member of this church gives cheerfully and bountifully to finance the end time harvest. This is our season to prosper. The door of success has been opened. We shall succeed in everything in Christ. The doors of failure have been closed and we shall know no defeat. This is our season to prosper. The door of success has been opened. We shall succeed in everything in Christ. The doors of failure have been closed and we shall know no defeat. This is our season to prosper. The door of success has been opened. We shall succeed in everything in Christ. The doors of failure have been closed and we shall know no defeat. We declare together, being fully persuaded that what he has promised he was also able to perform. We, we believe, we receive all that God has for us in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen and amen. Come on, put your hands together in the house. Has the Lord been good to anybody in here? I mean, better than good? Hallelujah. Has he set you free? We got something to praise God about then. Come on, even if I 
much, right?
Okay, and y'all, okay, so the Snyders, Snyders. Elvis Fernandez, hallelujah, Rick and Latrice Hill, hallelujah, did I say Fernandez, and Keisha, we had something for you too, I know we did, I know who you are today, I done cleaned my contacts off, I can see you baby, and so we have one for you, so Deacon and Simons, you know who all those people are, right, you got Keisha? All right, she got you, Keisha, and we're going to give you those. Thank y'all for being a part of our marriage uh, seminar weekend. We had a tremendous had a time. time. We appreciate each and every Hallelujah. one of you. Amen. Amen. To before, God be the glory. Before we move forward, let me say that what I, um, we're thankful for the weekend, and of course, we want to just also uh, announce what you should. Most of us know by now that uh, Apostle Dr. Frederick K.C. Price went home to be with the Lord. And I tell you what, an incredible man of God, a general. And so we are grateful. We want an you incredible to man of God. solicit your prayers for the Price family, for Crenshaw Christian Center. Um, Dr. Price was, and, and really. He uh, was 89, though. He was 89. He Praise lived a God. good life. Oh, yeah, God was, I mean, my goodness. But even in that, and it, it's fitting as we would say celebrate Black History Month, he was the first African-American. That I ever seen walk with that Bible open Hallelujah. and stand flat-footed and teach the gospel of God. Thank you, Lord. I mean, without a doubt, one of the first men, Hallelujah. one of the first of any color, for that Thank matter, you, Lord. To, to be on television back in the 70s, wow. he was preaching on television, and, and, and you know, he's taken... He's taking his rest with the Lord. We want you to continue to be praying for Dr. Betty Price and uh, Fred Price Jr. And, and really just lifting them up because we believe God. The generals are leaving. My, a good friend wow. of mine, a prayer partner, one of my prayer partners last night, we, he said this, and I told him, man, that was so profound. I believe it was the Lord. He said, he said, you know, another, another general has left this place. And he said, these are our fathers, our fathers, you know, um, and uh, even Dr. Sheila and I, we have a, a, a connection with Dr. Price because our beloved bishop, Nathaniel Holcomb, got saved in his ministry. Yeah. And yeah. so we, that's our connection. We're grateful because our bishop is resting with the Lord. And now Dr. Price is resting with the Lord. But 
my good friend, Dr. Hargrove, said this last night on our, while we were praying, and he said, you know, he said, the fathers are leaving to go be with the son. And he said, so that the sons can learn to become fathers. And I'm excited about Hallelujah. it. Because God, God, be the glory. listen, God, until the Lord returns, he will always have a voice in the earth. Hallelujah. And it's just time for us to God's urgency for now, even in that as these generals go home and rest with God, he's given us what we need. We've just got to grow up and go ahead and That's accept right. that mantle. We need to walk in the things of God. And so I'm excited about it. I'm looking forward to it. How many of you know, even through Dr. Price's testimony, his testimony, his life, what he shared and how many men and women that he brought into the kingdom, how many he got out of religion into relationship, wow. teaching the word of God. That's proof that God's been good to us. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's proof. Didn't leave us in the dark ages. He did it. Oh, glory. Oh, my. Walking. I mean, I grew up where the preacher was the only one in church with a Bible. And I'm not even sure if he was right because they would open that big that big old Bible that would sit on the pulpit, open it, read the scripture, and slam it closed and preach us home. And we would have church every week. We'd dance, shout, say how the Holy Ghost fell. And then before you get to your car and you lit up a cigarette, my before my. you get home and get your shoes off, you'd open my up my. a slits. Before you even got through your Sunday, y'all remember Slits beard? I didn't, okay, y'all acting brand new now. I don't know what they're drinking now, but you understand. Before you even, before we even went to work the next day, we'd already cussed somebody out. But we all said we was going to heaven. And then Sir. God raises up people to let us know it's not how you act at church. Hallelujah. Jesus ain't coming back for That's no, right. Listen, Jesus is not coming back for actors. You're not going to win an award. He's going to reward us, not award us. Right. So, so I'm so grateful when I saw that man and with that afro and just standing there with the, without any wow. shame, yeah. without any, I mean, it's such boldness and confidence. Yeah. It's helpful what, what the word says. Yes. And so we thank God. Amen. Amen. Thank God. I, I love good preaching. Don't me get me wrong. I love good preaching. You're my favorite preacher. Oh, praise God. Amen. Amen. I was about to say, and I'm not a preacher. I, I like teaching the Bible, but I, 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 I appreciate favorite. it. You're, you're all right with me, too. I ain't going to get started. I ain't going to get started. But let me say this, babe, since you messed up my, my flow. I was flowing pretty good, too. I thought I was, I really did. I thought I was... Uh, been all spiritual and carrying on but he has he has we thank God I do want you to know how much I enjoy this life with you how about that how about that I am so grateful I, I pity y'all remember the 18 we're gonna preach it you remember the 18 and what was it was it VA Baracus I yeah. pity the fool no that I, was what's his name wasn't it Doctor? I mean Mr. T I done messed him up again. I'm sorry. Wasn't VA Baracus Mr. T? Ain't that it? Wasn't See what that I his name? Mr. T is his real name, right? Yeah. The show was the 18. The man is Mr. T. And Baracus, what Mr. T used to say. I pity the fool. Is that was it Mr. T that said that's all I'm asking? Can you buddy? Anyway. What I was going to say is, I pity the wife that only gets one gift a year. I pity. I pity the wife that, that gets a Valentine gift, a birthday gift, a Christmas gift. I pity the wife that's married a man that needs a holiday to remind him to love on his wife. I pity the wife. I'm praying for you. Oh, y'all ain't said that. I said, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for the wife. Let me help the sisters that ain't married yet. Let, maybe talk to you single sisters. Listen, if only time he can give you a gift is when everybody get one, he ain't the one. He ain't the That's one. That's too easy. That's too easy. He's, I'm telling you, he got his mama, he got his mama a car. You've been so good. You you make it spiritual. So, so good. You oh, yes, you have been so good. So good. You you, 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 you been so good. Praise the word. So y'all want me to call y'all out? You don't want to sing with me? Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. He has been better. Hallelujah. He's been better. Come on, let's stand to our feet. Thank you. Lord. Let's stand to our feet. I didn't want to mess with y'all too early. I do have a surprise, a, a special, my Valentine's gift to myself is that uh, Dr. Sheila's going to preach with me this morning. We haven't done that in a long, 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 long time. And so, not on a Sunday anyway, and not here. I don't think, I can't, I, the last time you and I have ministered together uh, from the pulpit, at home, I can't remember. I can't remember the last time, and so we got to do that a little more often, Amen. praise the Lord. We, but today, um, we, we're so grateful for this weekend. Um, on Friday night, we had Apostle McDonald Ja and his lovely wife, Raylinda, with us. And then on yesterday, we did the Zoom call with the, with the couples, and we had the breakout rooms with the wives with Pastor Sheila and the men with me and came back and, and today we just want to put a period on that um, because it's still God's urgency, amen? That's right. It's still God's urgency. I want you to uh, just know God loves us so much and, and, and I'm going to give you the text and then we'll get into that. I want you to go, go with me to John chapter 21. Our, our mantra, I'm going to read that, but I want you to go to John chapter 21. John chapter 21 and verse number 15. Now, our mantra comes from John chapter 5, verse 25 in the Message Bible, where it declares that it's urgent that you get this right. The time has arrived, I mean right now, when dead men and women will hear the voice of the Son of God and hearing and oh, hearing on. will come alive. And what we want you to go and focus today with us is John chapter 21, Verse number 15, I'm going to read out of the King James Version of the Bible, and then we'll go ahead and let you have your seats. Amen. John chapter 21, verse number 15. So when, he had, when they had dined, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. You may have your seats in the presence of our life-changing King. Father, we do bless you and thank you this morning for your word. And we pray, as always, that it will go forth with power, with clarity, and with understanding. We thank you, Lord, that your word is true. Thank you for the opportunity to stand here with my beloved wife and preach the gospel together today. But we thank you. It's not about us. It's all about Jesus. And therefore, we pray that people that hear the word today will have the ears, will have the, will have the ears to hear what the Spirit is saying, not what Robert and Sheila thank have you, to Lord. say. We give you praise for it now and thank you in advance in Jesus', in Jesus name. name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 I want to sing to you, but, you know, I'm not sure how we go on. We live and everything and, you know, recording rights. If you don't say, you know, we don't yeah, own the rights yeah, to yeah. the song. Pam, they cut you off. They cut me. Cut they cut your thing off. Because we don't own the rights to that. We don't own the rights to it. But I feel like you wrote Always and Forever just for me. I didn't write it. I know you did. But I'm living it. You sure are. Hallelujah. And I'm grateful. Don't and sing I'm it, thankful. I'm, I, I won't. Amen. Because not that you can't. <laughs> I just don't want them to miss the word because they had an interruption. Amen. But always and forever, each moment with you, it's just like a dream to me that somehow came true. And I know tomorrow will still be the same because we got a life of love and it won't ever change. Every day. Every day. See, we're not going to do that. I just, I, you know, it's been a while since I've been here to preach with Dr. Poole and, and I think of, you know, this pandemic has affected us all and you know, we've been kind of in caves, uh, in our own individual caves. Uh, AV and couples have been in caves and, you know, looking at each other like, I really can't stand you today. Wow. Please go to wow. work. Wow. Please wow. go to work. I'll be glad. Dick and Joe, they've been saying, husbands and wives, I'll be glad when they lift this van. We'd have been in the house too long. My God. Today. My God. But I tell you, the reality of it has been with you, uh, sir, I've just loved being with you. And even in the moments that have been stressful, you've always went out of your way to just love me and make me feel special, even when I've not been especially nice. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. I know everybody's especially nice all the time. Except for us. Ex you know, I know they are. Yeah. I just know Except they are. Us. That they walk Hallelujah. on rose petals and angels and, and doves flying in the living room. Huh, Bobby? Just flying in the living room, angels and, you know, and all of that. And so thank you for loving me oh, as Christ babe. loved the church and giving your life for me. How I love you. I thank God for you. Amen. You gonna be all right? Amen. I am. I'm not okay. gonna cry. Don't I did. Cry. I, went, I did extra with my makeup, so I wanted to stay intact. Okay, cause you know, I'm not gonna cry. You're not gonna. Cry. I appreciate you. Amen. Though. You know, I love you. I love you too. I have some special things for you, but I'm not gonna sing to you either. All right. Not, not you know. Not, I'm just concerned for our couples and our single people today as we stand with you. We wanted to share with you this, and for the, for those of you who, for the sake of a title, we want to talk about "Oh How I Love You." Oh, how I love you. Because Jesus asked Peter, do you, do you love, love me more? more? And we understand the concept. Jesus was asking Peter, do you love me more? Talking about Peter, do you love the Lord more than these? Whatever the these is, the job, the family, whatever the case is. But from that principle, the question that we could ask you, husbands and wives, as well as single people, do you love more? more. Or what a better way of saying it is, what do you love more? more. And Because it all comes down to a matter of love. It is, because love is what dictates our choices. That's right. It's all about love. And so what we wanted to look at today, we're going to give you three simple things that we pray will be a blessing to you. And because she's standing up here with me, we probably won't go over. So you don't have to worry about it because, you know, she's going to make sure we finish and all that good stuff. You know, uh, and I might ask her to sit down after we get going so I can just keep going, but I won't do that to you. But we do want to just encourage you today because, like she said, it's the same to me. It's a shame that in the pandemic, marriages have gotten worse. You would think in the pandemic we would get better. You have no other choice but to deal with each other. Hey. Now, the same people that used to try to steal away to go hide in the cave when they shouldn't have been in the cave, now you wish that you could come out of the cave because you're tired of being in the cave with the person you're in the cave with. Mm. I, I, like, just, I like being in a cave. Yes, I thought I almost, I almost, but mm. I, we have a younger crowd. I almost said, Captain Cave. They <laughs> wouldn't remember. They wouldn't remember. But I don't know if they would remember that. Because I'm telling you, I, I don't, whatever it is, if you, Jane, I'll be Tarzan. You Man. know what I'm saying? But I'm concerned that we have a whole lot of jungles going on, but there's no fever. There's no fever because there's no fervor. There's no fervor because there's no Woo. heat. And it is, it's not good. It's not good. And it's, 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 an, it's, it's urgent that we get this right. As husbands and wives, it's urgent that we get this right because single people are looking at you. That's right. And you got single folk confused. They, they looking at us wondering, why do I ever want to get married? As a matter of fact, many of our young singles, saved and unsaved, have made the decision, I'll just not get married because it's just a piece of paper. Why? Because I've been watching you and the way you look, it must be just paper because there's no love. So, oh how I love you. Now we're gonna preach together. Amen. So you gotta say something. I am. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm well, go ahead. Go ahead. Because I'm sure I'm. A, I'm a, the Bible declares in John three sixteen, for God so loved the world that He gave go. His only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in Him would not perish but have everlasting life. So mm -hmm. if He so loved us, then surely we can so love the person sitting next to us. My, my. And when we begin to talk about our first point, which is the measure, the measure, which is the measure, I like it, and I was so blessed. Though, are you all excited that the pews have picked up again? I was so blessed. Listen to the teaching from the Word of God from Minister Poole. I was so blessed by oh, that. Wow. And he mentioned this scripture because we're talking about the measure. Say the, the measure. measure. The measure. It's the measure. And, and whenever we think of measure, Big Lee, you know, since we be doing a little something in the kitchen, right? So you think of measure, you think teaspoons, tablespoons, cups, you know, and all of pinch. those kind of things. A little pinch of salt, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, a little twist of lemon and that kind of thing. But we need to understand the measure, hallelujah, in regards to what it says in the Bible. Turn with us to Mark chapter 4, verse 24. Mark 4, It's 24. in the measure. Because this is what it says, John three sixteen even. For God so, so loved. loved. That's the so is the measure. That's right. How much? So much. How, I love you so you. much. That's right. It. He loved us so much. Right. And, and that's the measure. That's the measure. So when we look at Mark, even chapter, Mark chapter four, verse 24. Yes. Because the Bible says, and, and I'm going to 
King James at least. Yes, and then verse. we're going to look at it I'll in the yeah. Amplified yeah, yeah. Classic. So, but the King James says, and he said unto them, this is Mark 4, 24. He said unto them, take heed what you hear. hear. Watch this. With what measure ye meet, it, will, it shall be measured to you, and unto you that hear shall more be given. So it says, my reception is based on the, the measure. measure that I'm taking in. That's right. And That's so right. The, the, ampli you want the Amplified, amplified amplifies it. Amen. Let's look at what it says. The classic I amplified. remember learning this verse yes. in regards to, um, there was a book written years ago, and, um, and and I can't remember the name of it off the top, but it was basically saying that you don't have to be broke, or, mm -hmm, you know, and that mm -hmm. kind of thing. But this verse, it ministered to me, and we committed it to memory because it says, because we're talking about the measure. the measure. Say the measure. The measure. Say the measure. The measure. And he said to them, be careful what you are hearing. For the measure of thought and study you give to the truth you hear will wow, be the wow. measure of virtue and knowledge that comes uh, back to you and more besides will be given to you who hear. It's in the measure. It's in the measure. It's in the measure. It's so let, let the, the thought and study. Of the measure of thought yes. and study. Yeah, so yeah. what measure of thought and study? Let's say, let's just stay general. What measure of thought and study are you giving to the word of God? What measure are you just giving? And I love that we're in an age and a day and a time where all the excuses are eliminated. Right. If you got an electronic anything, anything. you and you got a phone, and That's listen, right. e and you know, and, and me and Dr. Wu, we're not senior citizens, but we do got our AARP card and everything. And yeah, so, because they, never you know, it. we I, ain't used it I yet, but, but you know, then, then they had this, this one thing they gave for people who was born in 67, this little phone that got like only three buttons on it, you know, right. to make it seem like that we feel something and don't know how to use a flat phone yeah. but I know how to use my smartphone yeah yeah I so we are in the phone. age yeah the flat phone the smartphone you okay. know the button, okay. the one would just push you know yeah. and so but those phones now we eliminate all the excuses the phone has because there's apps there's Bible reading plans. We are in an age where we are left, left without, without excuse. excuse. However, mm. however, we've allowed those apps, those minute Bible studies, uh -huh. the, the five-minute reading plan so a cripple pinch. us. A pinch. A pinch of the word. But the then word. this says the measure. So, so if, if you only, only give it a pinch. That's right. A pinch of thought and study. Uh-huh. If I give a pinch of thought and study to the truth that the you truth hear, that I hear then, then you're only going to get a back pinch of virtue and, and knowledge. knowledge. Well, we'll come back to we'll you. Back. But then, so I've been given a pinch to the word, but I've been given a cup to some other things. It's in the measure. It's in the measure. So it's in the measure. Is it any wonder why my marriage looks more like um, the, the, the Senate floor than it does the bedroom because huh. I've been given more thought and study to whether they're going to impeach him or whether whether this going to happen. Did you vote Republican or Democrat? I've been given more thought and study to, to CNN that, that's than right. I have to seeing you. That's right. And we talked about it. I, we were so blessed on Friday with Apostle Ja and Lady uh, Lady Ray and she said we need to be intentional. Intentional. We need to be intentional that's right. about the measure. And I remember years ago, Deaconess, I asked this one young lady because she had a nice looking husband. I mean, she wasn't, he wasn't as nice looking, you know. Yeah. But anyway, she had a nice looking husband. And, you know, he was one of the ushers on the door. And all the people come past the usher. Yeah, I said, yeah. you want somebody else? You want somebody else to say, you look nice? Mm. She wasn't you, you want, Listen, mm. Dick Jones, Virginia don't want nobody else telling you how good you look. Well, she better start talking then. But if we're not intentional, <laughs> if we're not intentional... If we're not intentional to say you look nice, if we're not intentional, wow, and again, wow. not just, I love, I love, okay, if bootleg holiday or not, it's an opportunity for us to regroup and recoup That's and begin right. to use it as an opportunity to lavish love. And here it is. It's not just limited to married people. I'm oh, so blessed. You goodness. know, you can give gifts to anybody. I got a little gift bag for all my little sweet, my sugar cues, my sugar loves, all my little sugars, because I want to give and show love. That's Right. It's in the measure. Right. And here's the thing, even if you're single, you say, I don't have a Valentine. If you have a mirror, you have a Valentine. Listen. Hello, somebody. And that's a pretty good like, looking Valentine, too. Because you know you better than anybody else. That's right. Again, here's here's why it's so important because it's the thought and study. 
Many men say, I don't even know my wife. But then let me ask you, how much thought and study do you give to your wife? How many of you remember, watch this, because we give thought and study to the argument because you remember who won it and you remember when it ended, Dr. which Poole. means you've been thinking about it ever since you had it. That's right. That's right. And I am amazed how men, Elder Pastor Jim, are able to recall football statistics. I forget it as soon as I, as well, soon as babe, I, I, I mean, I just think that is amazing how a man is, it's not, what, what? It's not that amazing. It is. No, it's the scripture. You don't give any thought and study to it, therefore you don't recall it. I don't. Men give too much thought and study to it, boy, so you think they, they get like paid a, for boy, it. Boy, they good too. They good. Yeah. We know, we good. know stats, they but good. we don't know what, we don't know what bothers you. Isn't that something? So this is our opportunity. It's urgent that you get this oh, right. So and to get it right, to right talk, now. Oh, glory to God. It's urgent that we get this so right. Sweet. And I mean I'll, right now. Hallelujah. It's in the measure. The it's in the measure. And here's what, if, if, if the measure is intentional, if it's intentional, here's something that we, we intended to do years ago. And, and you can't, let me say too, don't, don't make your measure a resolution. You know, so you can't make your intent. Well, this year I'm going. To, well, don't wait. To this do it. Do it today. Start now. That's right? right. Don't wait. Don't wait till the first to lose weight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that don't make no sense to me. Start today, right? So, but anyway, um, because what we have, we have this acronym BAM, B A M, and what we we call it beat by a, a mile. mile. So what we do is intentional. I told you, you call it pride or whatever. You know, I know there's a little bit in there. Praise God, Father, forgive us for the, but. I'm not going to let her outdo me. I told the brother, I'm not going to let her out praise me. I'm not going to let her out um, study the word. So when it comes to the things of our intimacy in the, in the sense of gifts, I'm not going to let her out give me. I'm not going to let her blow my mind with a gift and then I'd say thank you and give her a card. So we've been practicing this for years Amen. by a mile. But the, because of that, the measure continues to, to grow. grow. The measure. The measure. Say it's in the measure. It's, it's in, in the, the measure. It's in the measure. It's in the measure. Number Hallelujah. Two. Number a, two. See, see, that was really good. I went there before you did. Oh, glory. Number two. Y'all ready? Yes, sir. Pleasure. Yeah. Ram. Mm. Wow. Boy, you hear how quiet it is in the. <laughs> Probably because it's a pleasure. What's that? What? It's amazing. Pleasure. Happy. Is it is. It is. It, I'm, babe, I'm telling you now. It's quiet up in here, but it's okay. It's amazing. Can I? Can I say something? You knew I was going to do this. You. You knew. I did. You knew I was going to do this. Mm -hmm. I we were talking about some things, and and it's amazing to me. And again, my opinion. I'll say it that way. In my opinion, the greatest offense, the greatest sin, if you will, or the greatest, the 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 area that the enemy works the most as it relates to sin is sex. It's the only thing that is both a sin and not a sin. It's a sin outside of marriage. It's not a sin in within the confines of marriage. That's right. But the reason I say sex above everything else is because this is what the Bible says. The Bible says that, know you not, that if you lay with a harlot, you become one with the harlot. But not only that, with sexual sins, because the root of sexual sins is lust. So with sexual sins, why? Because sex is the only physical act or the physical act that is the closest to our spiritual intimacy with God. You better hear me. Yeah. So why do you think the enemy wants you to have that before you get married? So that you'll never understand what it means to be intimate with the That's Lord. Right. Jesus said, depart from me, I never knew you. Knew you. Not I wasn't aware of you. He knows how many hairs are on our head. So he couldn't have been talking about that. What he was talking about is intimacy. That's right. I was never intimate with you. But, now watch this, as it relates to physical, I believe the highest sin or the greatest, the, the thing that the enemy works with the most is sex. That's because of the intimacy. Now, watch this. I believe as it relates to character, as it relates to character, it's the mouth. And more specifically, it's the truth. The enemy is a liar. The Bible says he's a liar. 
right, and the father of lies. So watch this, because what he gets us to do, we lie. I, I am amazed, sweetheart. Your feet hurt? Yeah. I tried to help you. <laughs> See? I ain't going to mess with them. And they be, y'all be wearing them tall shoes, too. I mean, they be so tall. I tried to hang, but I, I'm going to be I up here you, for a few more minutes. I, try, I asked you. Y'all say, I leaned over. I said, you going to be able to preach to them? She said, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on back. Don't adjust your screen. She didn't get shorter. <laughs> <laughs> it's, all, it's all good. But hey, what happened? It's all good. Yeah, that's, that's for real right there. That's for real. But, but. The reason, because lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. Why? Because it's the complete opposite of truth. Now, I'm telling you the reason it's so quiet. I know you're saying, what's that got to do with pleasure? The reason it gets so quiet when we talk about this in the house of God, because we had more pleasure, many of us, not all, praise God, before we got married in that area than you experienced since you've been married. Mm -hmm. Because before we got married, we wanted to. Because we were chasing what we didn't understand. Now that we are married, we come up with every excuse not to, and we will even lie not to do that. Boy, it's but hard. it's urgent that you get this Thank you, sweet. now. And I mean right Thank now. Thank you, sweet. And I can see the top we of your are, head. <laughs> come on back. Come on back. It's a good look. That's why I don't like this podium. But anyway, we are living in a day and time where it is urgent that you get this. It and is. I mean right now. We talk about it here at Destiny Christian Center where we are illuminating the pathway to purpose through Ooh. the teaching of God's word. We're not teaching you the word of God so that you can have information while you up in here with us for these very few hours. Because the Bible says that we need to not only hear the word, but we need to be doers of the word. And if we are born again, blood washed, Bible believing, mm. tongue talking Come hallelujah on. Christians that we need to get about the father's business in every area of our lives in every area because when we begin to talk about pleasure oh we need to tap into what God says listen life is meant to be enjoyed hallelujah and singleness not. is meant to be enjoyed oh glory to God your walk with Jesus is meant to be enjoyed and not endured and certainly and surely your marriage is meant, meant to, to be enjoyed and not endured but if you would just do the word say do the word do the word. Say, do the word. Do the word. I'm telling you, you will be blessed yes. in your doing and yes. experience pleasure. And it's in your Bible. It is because the Bible says in Genesis chapter 18. That's right. Genesis 18, where when the angel of the Lord showed up and told Sarah that he asked Abraham, he said, where's your wife? He said, because this time next year, she'll have a child. And the Bible says she laughed in her tent. <laughs> and then the angel said, why did you laugh? She said, I didn't laugh. He said, you did laugh. And she said this. She says, shall I have pleasure? pleasure? Genesis 18, verse 12. Look at it. It says, therefore Sarah laughed within herself. Genesis 18, 12. Saying, after I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure? pleasure? My Lord being old also. Now, now y'all know what that means in 2021 language, right? Yeah. we, Me and Abraham going to the garden? That's what it meant. And a baby me, gonna come from this experience? Me and old Abraham, I mean, he old, I'm old. We don't even things sleep in the same tent anymore. You know, things not on the high rise like they used no, to be. No, no. I mean, I still enjoy them, but not like that. We just don't even do that no more. But they had sense enough to know that if she's gonna have a baby, unless it's gonna be an immaculate conception, that, that they had, had to... Something had to happen. And, Something and, had to happen. And so... It's amazing to me how many of you might be carrying a prophet and don't know it because you won't go to the... I'll just leave Shall that I have pleasure? Shall I have pleasure? So, and the truth of the matter is, you don't want somebody else having pleasure with your man. You don't want somebody else having pleasure with your woman. So the best thing for you to do is to be about the father's well, business and bring him pleasure like none other. Oh, glory to God. Well, well, well. Look, now you've got your, you grew a little bit. Praise God. Watch this. And it's, a, it's sad. Go to, I'm going to stay with the scripture too. Go to, go to Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. Because we're talking about pleasure. Pleasure. Say pleasure. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 5. Because some people say, well, it's not all about the sex. You're absolutely really right. Not. That's why y'all don't do it once you get married. Because when you were single, that's all you had. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Boy, I love this. But now, now you got bills in y'all name. Now, now you, you can't just come and be... You know, your weave is always in the you right place. What? Your makeup is always set. That's in dating. Once you get married, 
You, you reaching for your wig. Y'all ain't saying nothing this morning. You, you ain't got your glasses on yet. And then he said, wow, before it was wool, man. Now it's wow. Man. Right? And so, because. And, 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 can I say something? I mean, yeah. I got to be honest. The reason why I wrap my hair up at night, because I, th I think I look funny without it. You know, you just come out That's your it. hair. I say, so I wrap it up, smooth it down so that I give my Lord pleasure. That's all I'm saying. And let me tell you, too, I, as much as I don't know what she do with her hair. I'm just grateful that it's hers and that, that part. But that, now listen to me. The Bible says dwell in her according to knowledge. So you know what your wife like. And wife know what your husband like. But the reason I say that is because at least, now she wrap it at night, but the first thing. Oh, it come off. Take that thing off your head. Yeah. And let me help me. Who told you? Who told you? Listen, unless you got on a skull cap, keeping your ears warm, don't be in public. <laughs> Nobody need to know you rolling up your hair. Take the rollers out. We can see the curls. Don't be all out in public looking like you don't care. I think I wrote in, in, in our book, uh, Treat Him Treat Like a King, that, you know, after you done, you know, you just come out, everybody just look good like this all the time, and then you get married, your husband wake up, you got your bandana on, your toothpaste on, your zit, and your husband roll over, he look at his wife, he said, oh, my God, I'm married to a gangbanger. I didn't know. I had I no didn't idea. Know. thought I'd didn't married know. a queen. She's, she's wearing, her, she's wearing rags, on her, the rags on her head and just walk around the house with rags on her head and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, take them rags off, babe. Take them rags off. Rags are for cleaning and laying your hair down. <laughs> Take it off. Take that thing off. Get morning. rid of the rags. Yeah. But anyway, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes five. 5. Because you said, well, Pastor, what if we, you know, the bedroom is just a part of you. Absolutely right. Isn't it amazing that we are married and don't laugh? Married and don't, don't smile. The kids don't laugh. You don't laugh. The cat don't laugh. Nobody's happy. The only time happy. you even show any kind of animated emotion is during a game. <laughs> Ecclesiastes 5.18. I'm talking to the people on the screen. I don't know why y'all all tight. Y'all not doing this. This is, for the, this is for somebody's cousin or something, not for you. Ephesians, I mean, Ecclesiastes 5.18. Notice what it says. Behold, are you there? Yes, sir. Behold that which I have seen. This is what Solomon comes to this conclusion. He said it is good. Say it is good. It is good. It is good and calmly for one to eat and to drink and to what? Enjoy. Say it with authority. Enjoy the good of all his labor. Why are you, why are you working like that anyway? I've never understood that. You're always working, but you're never enjoying life. Mm. You're doing all of this. Got to work, got to work. You know, I'm not even going to mess with y'all who can't come to church because you're working. But I mean, you, where's the enjoyment? Got to enjoy. God he wants says us that to, we're enjoy to enjoy it. Enjoy. That's and right. Then, notice what else it says. Not only enjoy the good of all his labor that he taketh under the sun all the days of his life, life yeah. which God giveth him, for it is his portion. God didn't put you here to be a prune, to be a stick in the mud. You know what I'm saying? Never smile. It's amazing. You can almost tell who's saved by, the, by their face. Are y'all here? You're supposed to be holy. Even when we, even, you know, we get ugly just to feel his presence. Why? No smiling. And then, and then we come home. There's no enjoyment. The average Christian can't remember the last time they took a vacation. Average couple doesn't even have a date night. What do you enjoy and about I told, your wife? And I told Dr. Poole, we're going to be a little bit extra more intentional this year. I told him I want to go somewhere outside of my address once a month. Outside of your, your yeah, outside of your county. Outside of my, well, well we'll just you know, say we, we, still, we still got a few we restrictions. Vegas, we got so a few I can, restrictions. I but we, So I already know, okay, so we, we got something going on this month. Yep. We going somewhere else in March. Don't yeah. know what we're going to do in April. I'll figure something out. When May's coming around, we're going to go. I'm telling you, so how many more I'll be we got? Glad, I'll be glad when these things lift, because so, I already I got some plane tickets. I hear I a need beach to, calling my name. Some vouchers. I'm, something. Cause I had, because we I have had to it be last intentional year, but we couldn't go anywhere. God. Now, this really blessed me because Dr. Poole gave me a card. This was the second card that he gave me this morning. I was so blessed. And I looked at it. I said, babe, look at this scripture. Look at this scripture. She did. And so I said, and it blessed me. In Ecclesiastes 9, verse 9, New International Version, on a card that he gave me. And I was so blessed because it says, enjoy life with your wife. 
Oh. I said, oh, glory to God. It's in your Bible. It's right Hallelujah. There. It's in your Bible. But, enjoy but life with your wife. Not enjoy your softball uh -uh. league, your enjoy bowling life. league, your, your I got to get out with the fellas. I've heard men, I've heard preachers say, I'm so glad the wives aren't here. Listen. And I've never understood that. I'm like, Doc, all my life, I'm in high school afraid or scared, afraid to ask a girl to, to the dance. I'm, a, I'm in high school afraid. I'm, in, I'm in, the, in the military. I need liquor just to walk up and ask you to dance with me on the floor. Now I finally got saved, got me a wife, and I want to be with her. Listen to what you're saying. Can you imagine God having a conversation with your husband? You know who your husband is, body of Christ. Jesus. Can you imagine God encouraging your husband to go spend some time with you? And him telling the father, I'm tired of interceding for them. I'm tired of but praying for them. But he's not doing that. I'm oh, glory but, to God. But men, you have more enjoyment with your boys? Surely no. I don't even have no boys. My boy, 27, I don't have no boys. I don't hang with the, I have prayer partners, but they grown men. Glory to God. The, my wife is... Aside from God, I'm telling we we sometimes now we young, praise God, we we young. I don't have to chase her no more. I just let her go and then I walk over to her. You know, I used to, <laughs> but I, I know where she is. But listen, we're young, so we we not on we not on stilts and, and you know wheelchairs and all that. But I already told her, even in our house, unless God tell me to move, I'm good. If I get tired of going upstairs, I already know where I'm gonna put my elevator. All right, don't worry about. I already saw it because I'm I'm enjoying my life with my wife. Now here's the thing. We'll sit down. This is to have me watching HGTV. Y'all pray for your pastor. I got her watching football. And then she'll say, baseball? I'm like, babe. Hockey? Babe, we're just trying to see. She said, what did oh. I don't know? If, they, if the thing go in the net, that's a point for us. Oh. Let's just watch. But she'll do this. Now, the reason I say that, she'd rather sit down on, in her chair, I'm in mine, and watch hockey. Have mercy. And we don't have a clue. <laughs> but we'll rather do that together then go hang with the fellas or hang with the sisters. Because I'm telling you. Now, I don't understand. I get, ex I get excited about this, Adrian. I get excited about this because we are at Destiny Christian Center where we are. Illuminating the pathway to purpose through the teaching of God's word. It does say in your Bible, it's in there, ain't it, ain't it key to be doers of the word and not hearers only? Because if you just hear it and don't, don't do it, you're deceiving yourself. Now, don't this tell you, it tell you enjoy, your, enjoy life with Latifah. Life. Ain't that what that say to you? That's what it said. So enjoy life with your wife. So if you are not enjoying your life with Latifah, then are you doing? Are you doing this scripture? See, it's 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 easier than ye suppose. Then it goes on to say, enjoy life with your wife, whom Who you, you love. love. I, not just I, some of them, but all the days yes. of the. Listen, life is meaningless. Listen, we are born to die. Everybody got to go the way of the grave. Oh, glory to God! Let, that God has given you under the sun all your meaningless days. This is your life and life in your toilsome labor in the sun, I might as well enjoy my wife. I you mean, might as well goodness. enjoy your husband. You, you at work, I'm telling you, people volunteering for extra time at, on the job so they don't have to come home. You have athletes talking about how they enjoy the touchdown is like is like a climax and, and dunking on somebody. I've heard that but And it's true. Why? Because I don't enjoy my wife. But listen. But here's, wait, babe, can I say this, please? I, I let you walk a little bit and everything. Watch this. I know why you're struggling to enjoy your life. I mean, your wife. Because the second part, whom you love. Oh, how I love you. Do you even love her enough to enjoy her? Do you love her enough to no longer be a four? Now she's added some more. She was a four. Now she's a 14. And you don't love her no more. Oh, it's quiet in God's house again. You say how much you love her. Watch this. You didn't care that there was a little extra when you was trying to get with her before she was your missus. Now all of a sudden she need to lose weight. She wasn't losing no weight when y'all was running together. You love that. Do you love her or do you just love what she gives you when you want that? <laughs> 
But I'm telling you, if we would just get a You're hold, so Arthur, Candace, if we would just get a hold of what this Bible tells us to do. God meant life to be enjoyed life and not endured. Enjoyed. And just in case you're saying, well, I'm not married. Listen, enjoy life with That's yourself. The oh, glory it. to God. Enjoy don't life let, listen, with yourself. If you're not married, don't let somebody interrupt your life's enjoyment. And dictate whether you're oh, going to be goodness. happy or not. If you're enjoying life, a single person, this is one way you can know if this this person that has come into your life is for you. Yeah. If they know, if they are disturbing your enjoyment, because if listen, if they destroy, is destroying your disturbing, in, disturbing your ooh. enjoyment while you single. Oh yeah, you can. And guess it's what? A, it's over. When you get married, it's over. Your enjoyment is still going to be disturbed and disrupted. Yeah. So don't now act all shocked, stunned. Memory. Don't act all shocked, stunned, and amazed. Now they my, say, Miss Pat Jackson, what happened? They come to you as a woman of God, and they sit at your feet, and they want to listen to you as a woman learned of the scriptures. And they say, Ma'am, what happened? And you say, Baby, he was acting like that. Fo, y'all jumped the broom, wasn't he? <laughs> Baby, mm -hmm. now you got to get on your knees and believe God to work it out. Now, yeah, yeah. Oh boy, half room will travel. Oh my. Some of y'all got the broom in the trunk. Just enjoy life Don't. with your wife. Say, yes, enjoy now let life. me let me say this because this came this came across my mind. A hallelujah! Because if God's telling us to enjoy life with your wife and as single people, you're saying I am perfectly content. I can look in the mirror and have my own party popcorn, and I don't need nobody to do that. And this is a blessing, Lisa. This is good to me because the Bible says, "Do not arouse nor uh, awaken my love until she pleases." Yeah. For love is as strong as death, and jealousy as cruel as the grave. So if you're single, sanctified, and sold out for Jesus, one of your confessions over your life, one of your declarations yeah. over your, while you having your party in your mirror, oh God, do not arouse or awaken love in my heart until you please, That's because it. love is as strong as death. Do you know people, y'all watch, listen, we don't just watch HGTV, Taria, we watch Snapped too. And on them crime shows, people be losing their minds cause of love. They yeah. be losing their minds, diamond, cause I had loved him. And I didn't, you've heard it, murder, suicide. I loved him so much, I said, if they ain't gonna be with me, they ain't gonna be with nobody. Do not arouse or awaken my love until she my, my, my. My, my, you better my, my. hide yourself in the shadow of the Most High and trust God to keep you covered until he comes. And if he never comes, you'll be satisfied with him and him alone. You all right? He asked me up here. Well, and yeah, I told him I needed time to talk preach. About the clock. Amen. I'm Hallelujah. just trying to help you. Glory. While you worried about the... the well, glory. No, 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 no. You can't have yours and then I just sit here and go to the next. <laughs> that's not the way that's going to work. But, but here's the sad thing. When we talk about enjoying life, the reason we struggle with our enjoyment of life is because we don't like ourselves. Dr. Poole, that's good, that's good. So I'm letting somebody else tell me what love is all about because I'm struggling to love myself. This scripture tells me to enjoy life with my wife. And that's impossible if I didn't enjoy life when I didn't have one. That's good. Otherwise, my wife will have to become my life. And she's not my life. He is That's right. my life. In length of days. Hallelujah. Are y'all listening to me? So watch this, though. Can I, I got to say one. No, see, I knew you was no, going to do that. I was I'm just, just saying okay, you're saying how far we go. Okay, all right. Turn back to the people there. There you go. Now watch this. Go to Proverbs chapter 15. And I, that's the only one I want to read. Then you can go to the next point. Because this is in the Bible. This is, it's you in know, your Bible. Be ye some, doers of the word verses. and not hearers only. There's some verses in, in the Songs of Solomon in the book of Proverbs mm -hmm. that got the Bible taken out the library. Mm -hmm. Got it I'm taken you, right out. Because they claimed that the it, was, it had too much adult content. Mm -hmm. And that's because we got too many baby Christians. Amen. Y'all would grow up. Amen. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Proverbs chapter 15. Look at verse 18. Verse, ver, I'm sorry, verse 19, for the sake of time. Proverbs 15, 19. Notice what it says. The, are you, mm -hmm. Is that 15, 19? Yep. That is. Five. You want 15, 19? I, I, want, I want it. Five. Yeah, so I think. Yeah, I got been. you. Yeah. I got you. Five. Chapter five. I was thinking verse 15. Yeah. Five, 15. Drink water from thine own cistern. Is that what that say? 
Go to verse 5. I mean, chapter 5, there verse There it is. Chapter 5, verse 15. Drink water from thine own cistern and running water from thine own well. Keep going. Verse 16. Watch this. Let thy fountains be dispersed. Uh, let thy fountains be dispersed abroad and rivers of waters in the streets. Keep going. Let them be only thine own and not not strangers, not strangers with thee. Verse 18. Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. I believe that. Uh-huh. Right. But then this is the scripture I want to This is get it to. right here. Uh-huh. Let her be as the loving hind and pleasant roe. Roe. Uh-huh. Let her breast satisfy thee uh -huh. at all, all time. times and be thou ravished, ravished. always ravished. with her love. How long? Always. 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 One reason we're not enjoying our the, the our life with our wife, I'm no longer ravished. Because you're the wife of my youth. Isn't it amazing a man to divorce his wife and go look for a younger version of the same look woman just, he look divorced? Just like her. I'm like, what's that all about? You would think if you did if you had a problem with, with Ford, you would think you would at least try a Chrysler. You keep going because it wasn't the vehicle. You just wanted a later model. So you keep getting what looks like what you used to have. Why? I'm not satisfied with the wife of my youth. So watch this. Y'all got quiet, so that's good. Let me read this to you in the basic Bible. It's good. It's in your Bible. Yeah, B -B -E. It's in your Bible. The B -B -E. Bible, Bible in basic English. Uh-huh. Watch As this. a loving hind and a gentle doe, uh -huh. let her breast ever give you rapture. Give you rapture. Let your passion at all times be moved by her love. How often? Hey, hey. All times. At all times. Even when she got rollers in her hair. Or a toothpaste on her. Yeah. All, yeah. Let's make it a whole day. Just stay in the pajamas all day. You call in sick for everything else. Anyway. Um. In the English Standard in Version. The English Standard Version. Y'all okay? Watch this. English Standard says, do we have, what oh, we do? It says, a lovely deer, a graceful doe, let her breast fill you at, at all, all times, times with, with delight. My God. Be intoxicated, intoxicated always. always in her love. This is in your Bible. It's in the Bible. Then I, I can you hear, it's you hear, the, you, gotta, see, you, gotta be, you gotta be real still. Because there's some some sisters saying, but or brothers too, but my wife ain't saved. What about that? My husband ain't trying to do that. Mm. Mm. But the Bible says in First Corinthians chapter seven, mm. verse thirteen. I'm telling you, this book answers all your I'm, issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First Corinthians Prayer seven, Lord, yeah. thirteen. Are you there? And the woman which hath an husband that believeth not. And if he be pleased if to be, dwell, please, so please. That means you can't even experience pleasure, pleasure in your marriage. Even, even if, if they don't know the Lord yet. Oh, wow. If he be pleased to dwell with her, let him stay. Let him stay. Let and him stay. Listen, get the Martinelli's and the chocolate-covered strawberries. I mean, do what you know to do. I don't know why we act like... I didn't oh, know to do that. Yeah, you, was, you know yeah. what to do. You ain't been saved all your little life. You somebody all do, your somebody life. do you something. You was doing it before you got married. Somebody do something. <laughs> it's amazing. I somebody don't do something. You, when you were single and you was going to go have pizza on Thursday, you've matched. <laughs> <laughs> now you're married. I mean, <laughs> look like you 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 modeling the whole store. What is, is, is cross-dressing still? You, know, you got on a, a Nike cap. You got on an Adidas T-shirt. You got on his sweatpants. <laughs> Don't be wearing my clothes. You understand? I could probably zip up in your sweatpants. That's all I'm saying. I mean, now, like don't wear my clothes. Now, if I tell you to put them on, and you know that's different, but don't be wearing my clothes. You wasn't wearing my clothes before we got married. I sure wasn't. Now you just throw anything on. He, he all right. He's not all He's right. He's not all right. He's not all right. That's the problem. He's not all right. You haven't given much thought to this thing. Mm -mm, mm -mm. How much do you love me? Listen, I love you a whole bunch. I tell people I do this on purpose. 
That's all I'm saying. One time, I'll never forget it. You may have heard it before. Me and Doc Poole was out, and we was at our friend's house. She was showing us our, her new house with jazz, and I went past the mirror, and I ain't had my eyelashes on. Uh -oh. I said, oh, we got to go home. She blamed me. We got to go home. And you know what he did? Are you serious? I said, yes, I am serious. And because I have such a sweet husband, he took me back home yeah, we to go get my eyelashes to put them on because I do this on purpose. On purpose. I want to make sure, but not just for him, amen. I'm secure enough within myself to know that it's not about how, because charm is deceitful and beauty, beauty is, vain. is vain. Hallelujah. But a woman who fears the Lord, her name will be praised. Amen. So the bottom, the point point of the matter is, don't be going anywhere looking crazy. Right, well, because crazy is as crazy does. You if you know look why. crazy, you're going to attract crazy. You wonder why your husband crazy, because that's how you look most of the time. I mean, it just, to me, it's common sense. It's just common sense. Go back to the house common and get, sense. listen, okay, not eyelashes, get some Vaseline, get something. Put it oh, on babe. your lips, or, gotta, you know, do, do something, do something, do something, do something. Point it. number one, it's in the measure. Number two. Point number two, it's in the pleasure. And point number three, it's, it's in, in the, the treasure. treasure. It's in the treasure. Do you even, because you do know the purpose of treasure. What is treasure? When we talk about treasure. Something that's highly valued. Something highly that's valuable. precious. Something, precious. That something you, that's worth putting in a safe deposit. That's box. right. Or giving extra care to oh and, and setting it to the side. And something that's worth, uh, you know, it's a, it's a dormant. It's something that you just don't treat casually. And I love, I challenge you and encourage you, husbands and wives, go read the Song of Solomon yeah. in a couple in, of different instead translations. Of, instead of binging. Listen, on, 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 uh, put on to Game Solomon. of Thrones or whatever. Put on the Song it. of Solomon and Just, listen. Yeah. Listen to this. Read, you know what? Do like we used to back what in, we used when to do. We in Sunday school. What we used the to do. read and response. Uh -huh. You read a verse. He read, Or play act. Get the translation to tell you when the man is talking. All right. And when the woman's. And just, I dare to just read. It's only eight chapters. Uh -huh. I, think. Only, I think it's only eight yeah, chapters. Uh -huh. Just take, if, and that might be too much for you. Just one chapter a night. You be Solomon, and, and man, you be Solomon, and woman, you be the Shunammite, and just read those I'm verses to each you, other. We, have, listen, we wouldn't have all this marriage counseling. I'm telling on. you, it'd be some happy people. Listen to Song of Solomon. Listen to this. Song of Solomon 1, verse 2, Let's Amplified just start Classic. start right out the gate. Amplified Classic, verse, verse 2. Let him kiss me with kisses of his mouth. She cried. Then realizes that Solomon now, you might not read it with such, has arrived and yeah, heard just, her speech. <laughs> she turns to him. Now you gotta see, see. And adds, for your love is, is better, better than, than wine. wine. <laughs> there is no growl in that verse, babe. No that's but the amplified that's classic just, sister. That's Poole just the version. second. That's just the second verse. That's how we know folk ain't reading their Bible. Mm. It's in the Bible. Because I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost got game. He got I don't game. He got game. I don't know how he to game. talk to her. He game. He just game. walk in the room, walk in the room, and start talking to her. Just hold on. I got something for you. Hold on. Um, kiss me with the sweet kisses of your lips. What you talking about? For your love delights me more than wine. Now, if she keep on doing dishes, did you hear me? Get right on the other side. I said, kiss me. You're beautiful <laughs> from head to toe. Wow, wow, wow. They ain't ready. And your dear love, beautiful beyond compare. He just don't say nothing nice to me. Absolutely. <laughs> flawless. Absolutely. Flawless. flawless. See, that's what, look, we got to move on, babe. I love this. Watch this. While you're so busy trying to be perfect, there's someone that thinks you're absolutely Flawless. Did you hear me? I'm t absolutely. She, I, I, told, I tell the brothers, I've said this before, and it's, I don't say it to be, you know, I mean, it's, women are beautiful, praise God. There's some decent looking men, but, you know, I, that's a whole other story. Women are beautiful, and so I told, I said, my wife, she's not the prettiest woman in the world. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to lie. She's not the prettiest woman in the world, and, and Especially because we're getting older, you know, and I understand I'm not the I'm not the, the most robust man in the world and all that stuff. But that's not the point. That's not even the point. I mean, what in the world? I, she, she's the she's still. We'll go places. I say, well, you know, you you you're the prettiest one in there. It don't matter to me. She's the prettiest woman to me. See, so what we? This is why Job said, "Watch this." Job said, "I made a covenant 
with my eyes. Yeah. Right? Why? Because she's the prettiest. If she's the prettiest one for me, then there's no need of me looking at you to see if you prettier. But I'm not, I can recognize beauty because of what I live with. Amen. So, I, oh, that's a pretty lady. We'll be what? Oh, that's a cute girl. That's a nice looking guy. And then our next question, what if they say, I wonder if she know it. Because mm. it's interesting wonder, to me. Does she know a lot she's of times pretty. the the pretty ones, it's the it's the beautiful girls that are told that they're ugly that are told their esteem is so low and then you know because beauty is in the eye of the beholder and listen we're all beautiful because God created us we're all created in his likeness That's right. and, image. And, his image. and so regardless of whether somebody else think I look good Brandy I got to be able to look in the mirror and say girl you look good whether nobody tell you or not that's it because, because if you if you don't if you don't ugly you y'all remember ugly you got to love, love yourself. yourself if you ain't ugly enough to love yourself that's right. You'll always be ugly because someone else is dictating what you look like. So you're, you're pinching what shouldn't have got pinched. You're pulling what shouldn't have been pulled. You're dyeing your hair, cutting your hair, growing your hair. You don't want to impress somebody who is still struggling with their own, own security. identity. And they're telling you, well, you ain't that. You ain't all of that. Well, if I ain't all of that to you, you help me. We don't need a second date. Listen. Because God ain't going to spend, listen, God is not going to have me connect my life with somebody that don't think I'm all of that. Amen. That's so we right. don't need to hang out. No, you don't need my number. You don't even think I'm all of that. Look, all Y'all of that say, and. No. Listen, all and, of that part, and. Of, part of the problem with the treasure is you let a pirate get in your chest. Oh, oh. Listen to me. Oh, that's good. And when that pirate got in there, now. He's convinced you to devalue what God considers priceless. Wow. Wow. The Bible says in Proverbs mm-hmm. chapter 31, verse 10, that a virtuous woman, it asks the question, who can find her? Because her price is far above rubies. Let me help you. When I first got married, Big Lee, we got married. Y'all, some of y'all might remember, what was that? J. Herbert Hall. Yeah. That was a jewelry store. J. Mm-hmm. Herbert Hall. In little the jewelry Meadows store, Mall. J. Herbert Hall. In the Meadows. No, no. No, it was in the it Boulevard. It was at the Boulevard Mall. It was. Down on Maryland Parkway. Mm-hmm. We got your ring at the Boulevard, at the J. Herbert Hall mm-hmm. and got mine at that little cut. You know, in the cut. Mm-hmm. Right there. It, was yeah. in, it was in the mall, though. So it was legit, but it was in the cut. Right? And I remember we got that ring. You know, you know when the stone, the stone is surrounded by reflectors? You know what I'm talking about? Because the stone ain't that big, so it's got a whole lot of other stuff going on it. But w- I was so grateful because I'd rather buy you a small diamond Amen. than a big cubic. Because the small diamond is valuable, and That's it's right. much more valuable than that large zirconia. Amen. You understand? If I can't get the bigger diamond, let me go find you a little one. And let the little one be a testament that I'm working on bigger. That's right. Why? That's right. Because if I had a bag full of di- I wish you hit- if I had a bag full of diamonds, it still wouldn't be enough to offer the father for what he's given That's me. Right. But if you don't know that you are a diamond, you got a brother he don't even recognize. See, you, you know he can't even pass the test. He ain't even cutting no glass. And you letting them in your chest. You're beautiful. And That's now right. you think you're ugly. Esteem shot because some fool told you you ain't all of that after he got all he wanted. And left you on the side of the road. But I made a decision. I and I remember I when I got saved in 1987, you know, I never did drugs, Bobby, but men were my drug of choice. Mm-hmm. And it came to a place in my life when I got tired of just being left at the side of the road. When I just got tired of being used up, and, you know, driven in the car, ridden up and down the highway, and then they open the door. They don't care, Latifa. They just open the door and push you out. You don't ain't got to talk. They're sometimes. not slowing down. But yeah. when you realize, when you realize that you are created in the very likeness and image of God, you won't find yourself getting in any old body's car. You will have to say, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me see what you got to bring me, Doc. That's right. Because I am God's daughter. I am a queen. I am valuable. And Diamond, you already got it made. You just tell him you ain't know my name. My name is Diamond. My name is not Zerk. 
My mama did not name me Zirconia. Nope. So the last time I checked, if you don't treat me like my name calls me, honey, you tell them to keep it pushing because I'm a woman of rare beauty and of great vice, right. pri great price and high value. Oh, glory to God. That's right. And, and we got to close, babe. We got to close. We got to close. I want you to, I, I, I really want to make sure you understand this treasure. Because if you understood the treasure, people have lost their lives over their goods. My God. Right? Home invasion. You, you know, she said we ain't only watching HGTV. Sometimes we watch them like, man, just give them, give them the watch. You can get another watch, just give them the watch. But you know why they're holding on to it? They'll say stuff like, but this was my grandfather's watch. There's no value I can put on this. Mm. I'd rather die than give up my grandmother's ring. Mm. Now, here's what's sad. Too many believers would rather kill their marriage than die in it. Because you don't understand value. When you took her off the market, I know this may sound like, now, sis, don't get me wrong. You're not a piece of meat. I'm not saying that, but I need you to understand something as we close. This is according to the Bible. That's why in the, I, I'm all for the young woman that goes out, get your, you get your degree, you get your house, you do all that. Go you see the world. You. That's right. Enjoy your life. Amen. But don't, don't, don't enjoy your life because there's no one for you. That's right. Enjoy your life until That's there's right. someone for That's you. That's right. You understand? That's right. Because, because the enemy, listen, because what the enemy would is for you to feel like you're, you're worthless. That, that you're nothing. And then your husband, because more than likely, he don't feel like he's much more. Hmm. So now you have nothing married to little of nothing. And you spend your time looking at each other wondering what I've done. But the Bible says there's a treasure hidden in the earthen, earthen vessels. vessels. Hallelujah. And so what we need to do, you do know if you put some hot water on anything, hot water gets rid of some dirt. And it's amazing how if we would just take the time to take the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Get in it for ourselves. But then take that word of God and apply it to my own. It's amazing how much smudges. I told the brothers yesterday, it's my responsibility to wash away the spots in my wife's life. It's my responsibility. If my wife is wrinkled, it's because I'm lazy. I said if she's wrinkled, you know what I mean. If, you, if your shirt wrinkled, you mean you didn't iron it. If she wrinkled, I'm lazy. If she spotted, it's my fault. Why? Because the Bible says that Jesus is my example, and I'm to love her as Christ loved the church, as he, and he gave himself. But then it says he also washes her with the washing of the word, or cleanses her with the washing of the word, that he can present her to himself spotless. So if my wife ain't spotless to me, then watch this. My daughter won't seem spotless to me. Thank you, Lord. So she'll fall for anybody that's just going to say, I don't care how many spots you have. But if she sees me loving on her mom, no wrinkles, no spots, or any such thing, she'll make up in her mind, I ain't marrying somebody that don't even have an ironing board. I'm not marrying somebody that don't even know how to wash. I'm not marrying somebody without a prayer life, somebody without, without a, a, some time with God. You might see, listen, because this is the side of it, that, that, that the urgency. Too many of God's people are in the most holy relationship. And it's a poor witness because we're always fussing and fighting. We ought to be the envy. That's right. You understand? It shouldn't be the other around. It shouldn't be somebody single making you wish you were still single. A married person, your marriage ought to make somebody long for what you have. I'm telling you, I need the envy. Absolutely. And so we we got to close, babe. I appreciate you preaching Thank with you me. Thank you so much for having I don't know, me here with you. I don't know. I, don't, I can tell we ain't did this in a while. I think next time I'll either let you just go by yourself or tell you to sit down, one or the other, because you're a distraction for one. You know, maybe we should, if I preach with blinders on, that way I can't look at you. Stand to your feet. I'm just trying to help us. I'm trying to, because if she only pretty at home, she ain't really that pretty. I'm telling you. I, I, Hallelujah. You, We're you, so you, grateful and thankful that each of you. You look good to me all the time. Hallelujah. And you likewise. <laughs>
thank you. We appreciate you being here with us in the thank house. You. God is so good. And I pray that you are, have received a word of exhortation, edification, and comfort. And that you leave so here good. changed by the power of the gospel. Enjoy your day. Those of you who have tuned in, thank you for tuning in with us. If you're looking for a church home, this is a great place to grow. And we want you to grow with us. And this, if, you're look, if you just need prayer, if you need hallelujah to know the Lord and to, to understand his love that you can experience the treasure pleasure and measure of his love we want to be there to minister to you That's please right. text 702-602-0777 if it's salvation put salvation if you're looking for a church home put church home yeah. we want to serve you in any way that we can we, we can. understand God's urgency of now so thank you for tuning in we appreciate it God bless you thank you for our visitors in the house we saw you we appreciate you being with us. Bless you. Thank you. We're grateful. It's not always going to be like this. We are going to get through to the other side, and God is going to bring us out to a rich fulfillment. And let me, let me, let, let us, as we get ready to go, I do want to, again, to our singles, not just the sisters, men, you're valuable too. Praise God. You're valuable too, but you believe God. God is a rewarder. That's right. Not a punisher. So God is not going to punish you with the relationship. He'll reward you That's with right. one. I want to encourage you, though, you value yourself. Do you realize you got to pay the, the car dealership in the wind? There's a, there's a, I believe it's a Lamborghini dealership. You have to pay to go in the dealership. You ain't test driving nothing. This is to go see the car. Now, CarMax, all you got to tell them is I'm walking right through. There's a difference. They both build. Now, you can be a hoop dealer. It's my value. I value myself. I married a Benz, and then I elevated her. I, what? I, I married a Benz. I didn't trade her in, but God transformed a Benz to a Bentley. I'm gentle with what I have. And I'm telling you, sister, you come out the gate. You let him know. Doc, you don't even, you, it's not about how much you make. It's how long you pray. You don't pray enough to get me. You don't know enough scripture for me because I'm valuable. I'm valuable. I'm telling you, oh my, that's why I read my Bible now. I need to know what God says so I can back you down with the scripture. Kiss me. I said, I'm joking. I'm joking. Come on, let's get ready to go. Father, we thank you today. How we love you and how we appreciate you because it's not about Valentine, whoever he is. It's about you. Every day is a day of love because you are love. And this is the day that you've made we will be glad and rejoice in it. So, Father, as we go from this place and not your presence, we thank you that you would keep us and watch over us, protect us from all hurt, harm, and danger. And, Father, regardless of the level of our love for ourselves, I thank you that it will increase today, that we will stretch our measure, that we will enjoy the pleasure, and, God, that we will most importantly value it as treasure because you love us. That's why we love you back. We bless you and thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Listen, y'all know, obviously, as we depart, please follow the direction of the ushers so that we can depart safely. If you want prayer, just stay where you are, and our altar workers will minister to you for any of those things. Salvation, backslide. If you want to know more about the church, just stay in your seat, and the, and the altar workers will minister to you. But other than that, follow the directions of the ushers. Y'all be safe out there, and enjoy the rest of your time today, okay? God bless you.